Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll do some examples on applications of inclusion and exclusion principle. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the formula of inclusion and exclusion and we have done some examples. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So it's very easy once you got the idea how we are going to apply this. Determine the numbers not exceeding 100 means you have to take all the numbers that between 2 and 100. Here we are excluding 1. So don't consider 1, 2 and 100 and not divisible by. So the numbers that are not divisible by. 2, 3, 5 and 7. It should not be divisible by any of these numbers. Those numbers, how many numbers are there that are not divisible by any of these numbers? 2, 3, 5 and 7. We need that count. That is what they, they have asked. Now coming to that, P1, we are considering it as numbers divisible by 2. P2 is considered as numbers divisible by 3. P3 is considered as numbers divisible by 5. P4 is considered as numbers divisible by 7. Now try to understand the why, why we can apply principle of inclusion and exclusion. Here how many variables are there? 4 variables are there. You know previous classes we discussed the formula up to only 3 variables. We are going to extend the formula for 4 variables here. In order to make you understand that 4 variable formula we have chosen this application. Now coming to the numbers not divisible by any of 2, 3, 5, 7. This is what required. So that is what we required. So from the, from the principle of inclusion and exclusion, numbers divisible by any of 2, 3, 5, 7. Any, it is, if it is divisible by any one of the number that is given as P1 union, P2 union, P3 union, P4. This is what our principle of inclusion and exclusion formula says. So what is the equation for this? We are going to understand at the end what is the equation for this. Now try to understand how we are going to identify number of numbers that are divisible by 2. Not divisible by any 2. Number of numbers that are divisible by 3. Divisible by 5. Divisible by 7. Now let us try to understand. So ultimately finally we need that the num total number of numbers that are not divisible by any means 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 that is given as how many numbers are there total 99 numbers are there 2 to 100 99 minus that are divisible by any one of the number that is p1 union p2 union p3 union p5 p4 that is given as if you if you subtract 99 minus any one of the number then you are going to get the numbers that are not divisible by any one of the numbers 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 so finally this is our equation now try to understand number of numbers that are divisible by p1 how many numbers it is going to divisible by num, uh, div, that are divisible by 2 100 by 2 that is equal to 50 Total how many numbers are? 50 numbers are there that are divisible by 2. Yes, 100 by 2, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 like that. All the numbers are divisible by 2. Similarly, numbers that are divisible by 3 means 100 by 3 which is 33. Total 33 numbers are there in between 2 to 100. Similarly, number of numbers that are divisible by 5 that is 100 by 5 that is equal to 20. Similarly, numbers divisible by 7, 100 by 7, that is 14 numbers are there. Now, you need to identify numbers that are divisible by both 2 and 3. P1 intersection P2. 6 is a number that is divisible by both 2 and 3. If a number that is divisible by 6, then it can be divisible by both 2 and 3. So, from the basic maths, 100 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 which is 6 100 by 6 which is equal to 16 numbers that are divisible by both 2 and 3 similarly num numbers that are divisible by, by both uh, p1 intersection p3 means 2 and 5 100 by 2 multiplied by 5 by, that is equal to 10 numbers are there that are divisible by both 2 and 5 
Similarly, numbers divisible by 2 and 7, 7 numbers. Numbers divisible by 3 and 5, that is equal to 6. Numbers divisible by 7 and 3, 4 numbers are there. Numbers divisible by 7 and 5, 2 numbers are there. 7, 5 is 35, 100 by 35, that is equal to 2 times it is going to do. Similarly, we need to identify numbers that are divisible by 2, 3 and 5. That is given as 5, 3 is 15, 15, 2 is 30, that is equal to 3 numbers are there. Similarly, we need to identify numbers divisible by 2, 5 and 7, 3, 5 and 7. Similarly, we need to identify numbers that are divisible by all the numbers 2, 3, 5 and 7. 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7, 100 by all this, this is above 100. So, 0, no numbers, 0 numbers are there. Like this, we need to identify all the values. Now, coming to the equation, how we write the principle of inclusion and exclusion. P1 union P2 union P3 union P4 is given as a number of, num, number of numbers in P1, numbers in P2 plus numbers in P3 plus numbers in P4 minus 1 time plus, second time minus, minus P1 intersection P2, P1 intersection P3, P1 intersection P4. Here we did not mention intersection. It is intersection. P2 intersection P3, P2 intersection P4, P3 intersection P4. Plus 1 time minus 1 time plus plus P1 intersection P2 intersection P3 plus P2 intersection P3 intersection P4 plus P1 intersection P3 intersection P4 plus P1 intersection P2 intersection P4. Again minus, minus P1 intersection P2 intersection P3 intersection P4. This is how we write the principle of inclusion and exclusion formula. This can be extended to any numbers. If you take 5, five sets, you, take, you can take 10 sets, you can take 12 sets, any number of sets. So now if you, if you, if you, if you apply all the numbers that belongs to above, whatever we define, if you apply it here, and this from this we are going to get P1 union P2 union P3 union P4. But our final answer is not that. We need to identify 99 minus N minus this. So 99 minus P1 union P2 union P3 union P4, you are going to get 21. Here we are not showing all the values adding and minus. You try to do it on your own. That is the best practice after understanding the formula. You apply the values and do it. You are going to get 21 numbers. So from 2 to 100, you are having 21 numbers that are not divisible by any of the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7. This is one of the application of principle of inclusion and exclusion. There are many examples. We are dealing with few of them. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post a question in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.